Step back in time to an era of hardship and uncertainty, where one man's dream ignited a beacon of hope amidst the darkness. Welcome to Finance Creative, where we delve into the captivating tale of the Walt Disney Company and its extraordinary journey through the Great Depression. In the depths of economic turmoil, Walt Disney, fueled by boundless creativity and unwavering determination, dared to defy the odds. With a pencil in hand and a vision in his heart, he embarked on a quest to bring joy to the masses through the power of imagination. As the world grappled with adversity, the Walt Disney Company emerged as a testament to resilience and innovation. From the humble beginnings of a small animation studio, it blossomed into a global phenomenon, enchanting audiences with beloved characters, timeless stories, and magical experiences. We honor the spirit of Walt Disney and his unwavering belief in the power of dreams. Through the lens of history, we explore the triumphs and challenges faced by the Walt Disney Company during its formative years, uncovering the secrets behind its enduring legacy. Led by a team of passionate storytellers, we invite you to join us on a journey through time as we unravel the mysteries of the past and celebrate the extraordinary achievements of the Walt Disney Company. From the creation of Mickey Mouse to the opening of Disneyland, each chapter of its story is a testament to the indomitable human spirit. But our exploration doesn't end with the past, it serves as a beacon of inspiration for the future. As we reflect on the Walt Disney Company's remarkable resilience, we are reminded of the boundless possibilities that lie ahead. So, whether you're a Disney lover, a history enthusiast, or simply a seeker of inspiration, welcome to our community. Together, let us celebrate the magic of storytelling and honor the enduring legacy of the Walt Disney Company. Join us on this enchanting journey as we pay tribute to the visionary spirit of Walt Disney and the remarkable story of the Walt Disney Company. Welcome, where dreams come true, and the magic never ends. Let the adventure begin. Early Life of the Founder Walter Elias Disney was the fourth child of Elias Disney, a peripatetic carpenter, farmer, and construction contractor, and Flora Call, a former public school teacher. The Walt family relocated to a farm close to Marceline, Missouri, a typical tiny Midwestern town when Walt was only a baby. Marceline is said to have served as a model for Disneyland's Main Street, USA. There Walt started his formal education and first showed an interest in and talent for the visual arts via the use of crayons and watercolors. Soon after he and his family relocated to Kansas City, Missouri, his restless father gave up farming and took up early newspaper delivery as a job. He even had his young boys help him out. In retrospect, Walt acknowledged that the restrictions and discomforts of working on the paper route with his dad were the roots of many of his compulsive behaviors as an adult. Walt started his cartooning education in Kansas City at a correspondence school and continued his education at the Art Institute and School of Design. When the Disney family relocated back to Chicago in 1917, Walt enrolled at McKinley High School, where he shot pictures, drew for the yearbook and took cartooning classes on the side in the hopes of landing a job drawing for newspapers. During World War I, he drove ambulances for the American Red Cross in Germany and France, which halted his advancement. Walt met the young artist of Iwerks, whose skills were crucial to his early success, during his sporadic work as a draftsman and inker in commercial art studios after his 1919 return to Kansas City. First Animated Cartoons In 1922, dissatisfied with their progress, Disney and Iwerks went their own ways, starting a tiny studio and using a used cinema camera to make animated commercials that would play in local theaters. The films would be one or two minutes long. Additionally, they created the animated shorts Laughograms and the teaser for Alice in Cartoonland, a series of seven-minute hybrid fairy tales combining live action and animation. The youthful producers were duped by a film distributor in New York, leading to Disney's bankruptcy in 1923. His brother Roy, a long-standing business colleague of Walt's, and the unexpected success of the first Alice picture forced him to return to Hollywood from California, where he had planned to work as a cameraman. Major Film Production Disney suffered a devastating blow in 1941 when its animators went on strike. 
It took a long time for the studio to regain the caliber of its early 1940s hits after losing so many talented animators. This studio's commercial films using this hybrid technique include The Reluctant Dragon, 1941, Saludos Amigos, 1942, The Three Caballeros, 1945, Make Mine Music, 1946, and Song of the South, 1946. Disney honed its methods of combining live action and animation during their foray into government films during World War II, 1946. Around that time, the Disney studio had already been a major player in the film industry, producing a wide range of films for audiences to enjoy. The Living Desert, 1953, Seal Island, 1948, and Beaver Valley, 1950, were some of the nature-based films featured on the popular series True Life Adventures. In addition to low-budget live-action features like The Absent-Minded Professor, 1961, the Disney studio released full-length animated romantic comedies like Cinderella, 1950, Alice in Wonderland, 1951, and Peter Pan, 1953. The Disney studio was an early adopter of television as a popular entertainment platform and a pioneer in producing shows specifically for the medium. On Sunday nights, kids would tune into a weekly showcase that included the Zorro and Davy Crockett series, which went by a few names, including Walt Disney's Wonderful World of Color. Variety program The Mickey Mouse Club, which included the Mouseketeers, a group of adolescent entertainers, was also a hit. However, the release of the critically acclaimed and commercially successful 1964 film Mary Poppins was the pinnacle of Walt Disney's producing career. Disneyland The idea for Disney's vast amusement park near Los Angeles originated in the early 1950s. When Disneyland first opened in 1955, its design and construction reflected Disney's passion for nostalgia and imagination. People from all around the globe started flocking there shortly after. Near Orlando, Florida, a second Disney amusement park called Walt Disney World was being built when he passed away. It opened to the public in 1971. Legacy Disney created beloved entertainment for children of all ages, all across the globe because of his boundless creativity, energetic personality, and talent for gauging the ebb and flow of public opinion. Nobody can doubt his groundbreaking achievements, even if critics panned his sometimes corny themes and said he established a virtual style monopoly in American animation that stifled innovation. Like the most successful capitalists before him, he was able to create amusement for an almost infinite audience and sell his commodities with remarkable ingenuity. As we close the chapter on the Walt Disney Company's journey through the Great Depression, we are reminded that even in the darkest of times, hope and ingenuity prevail. Through the lens of history, We've witnessed the remarkable resilience of a visionary, Walt Disney, and his pioneering company. From humble beginnings to global influence, their story is not just one of survival but of soaring above adversity to create a legacy that continues to enchant and inspire. As we reflect on their journey, let us carry forward the spirit of perseverance and imagination that defined the Walt Disney Company's rise. Let us embrace challenges as opportunities and obstacles as stepping stones to greatness. Thank you for embarking on this journey with us. As we bid farewell, remember that the magic of the Walt Disney Company's story lives on in each of us. May we continue to dream, create, and believe in the power of magic to change the world. Until next time, may your adventures be as enchanting as those of Walt Disney in his timeless creations.